collecting water outside a local clinic on the outskirts of Paris. A daily ritual for this mom and daughter. They'll be back again tomorrow. For most residents in or close to town, water collection at outside communal taps has become part of their daily schedule. In most households here, you have more than you know, two people living in the household, sometimes uh, five, ten people living in the, in the same household. So we, we use a lot of water and it's hot. People have to use the toilet, uh, people have to do laundry. Going to get water, you have to, it has to be part of your agenda for the day, it has to be part of your checklist. Community leader and school teacher Halikwe Sekono says water supply in Paris has deteriorated over the past two years due to aging infrastructure at the wastewater treatment plant. He no. says at times taps run completely dry for weeks on end. Since 2021, late 2021, and the water gradually started to become less and less and became even much more dirtier because whenever you store the water, Let's say you store the water in a bathtub, then you just let it you know, sit and then you'd see all the mud. I mean, we know that our water is pumped using you know, um, the, the electricity. So we know that whenever there's load shedding, we we'll never have, we'll not have water. In the nearby Tumahole township, the situation is even more dire. Young and old spend hours daily walking kilometers in the scorching heat to fetch water from underground sources. Halikwe points to the township's borehole water pump where cable theft during load shedding has left the taps dry. Residents must now walk two kilometers further where a local farmer installed a water pump at a boer hole operated by electricity that's generated from solar panels. People get water from uh, these boreholes that have been dug and some community members actually organized uh, solar panels so that they can be able to uh, use their water pumps to get water from the ground. Early in January, angry residents took to the streets in protest over the long-standing water problems in the area. Furious residents torched some parts of the local municipality building and set alight the house of the mayor, Victoria de Beer's mother. The people got angry when they saw the water plant that is so dirty. They said, no, let us go to the mayor's home, which is her mom's house, and let us demand to speak with her. So as we reached there, and then people are saying, the house is burning, the house is burning. Someone threw a tire there, we don't know who. It's like, okay, why can't you switch the fire off? They say there's no water. De Beer, who is mayor of the Nguate local municipality, says in a statement that she pleaded with the National Department of Water and Sanitation for urgent intervention to fix the wastewater treatment plant. But many residents from Paraisa and the Tumahole township say it's all empty promises.